Globalization of trade, the increasing movement of people, new and traditional trade in commodities, and the effect of climate change. These are all concepts that are becoming more and more familiar to everyone throughout the world. However, how many of us truly understand what the implications are of the lack of dialogue and controls between countries to limit the inherent risk of exporting pests while traveling and trading? New fruits and vegetables are appearing where they've never been before. And while that's a good thing, it also harbors some risk. The risks are associated with pests and diseases that can come from different countries to another country, and they travel along with the new fruits, vegetables, and nursery plants. So the increased risk really stems from the world becoming a smaller place. The International Plant Protection Convention was created to limit the spread and introduction of pests and to protect plant resources. It now has 177 contracting parties, including the European Union, by different, um, agencies. and aims to secure cooperation among nations in protecting global plant resources and the environment. How did this come about? The base of the IPPC goes back to the 19th century. Then there were enormous introductions of plant pests, potato late blight, phylloxera of grapevine, and those led already at that time to some international agreements and trials to get to f further agreements. This all culminated in the International Plant Protection Convention, which was adopted in 1951. At that time, after the Second World War, there was still hunger in Europe, and there was much trade in agricultural produce over the whole world. That created by a number of countries the fear again of introduction of new pests and diseases, and as a result of that, they started negotiation on the IPPC. In the mid-1990s, the IPPC was officially recognized by the World Trade Organization under the SPS agreement as the plant health standard-setting body. The IPPC's standards for phytosanitary measures provide the basis for governments to protect their plant resources from harmful pests, while ensuring that the measures are scientifically justified and not used as trade barriers. The IPPC has brought order into the chaos of plant quarantine. Countries have been able to continue to work together and in the end come to consensus on many points, which is very much different from what happens in many other organizations and conventions. The IPPC Secretariat, based at the FAO in Rome, ensures the continuation of this work and the involvement of a wide range of stakeholders, such as industry, researchers, farmer organizations, agronomists, and civil society. I think the importance of having the regular meetings are uh, because we have a diversity and commonality under the changing, globally changing world situation. Uh, for the diversity, of course, we have a different ecological situation, we have a different uh, geography, and different culture and economic situation. It's really critical that people get together and talk about these things to a, look at how the world's changed and adapt to those changes. B, look to the future and plan for unforeseen events, which happen more and more because there's more and more trade, more and more travel. And C, just simply to have a community of plant protection that really is looking out for the interests of the whole world rather than an individual country or an individual region.
As a result, there is a strong need of developing countries for technical assistance to trade safely. This is one of the critical concerns for IPPC. A good example is Belize. The fruits of this Central American country were affected for the first time in 1987 by a devastating insect pest, the Mediterranean fruit fly, one of the world's most destructive agricultural pests. At that time, investors were planting papayas, a commodity for export to the United States. Following the infestation, the entire country was placed under quarantine because there wasn't a comprehensive national surveillance program for detection and reporting on the actual areas of infestation. The export to the U.S. ceased, causing serious effects to Belize's economy. The Belizean authorities immediately reacted with technical and financial assistance from a number of international partners, including the IPPC, in order to put in place all the necessary measures to maintain the area free of medfly. The estimated cost for Belize for this program is around half a million dollars per year. Okay. It has been calculated that for every dollar spent in maintaining the program, $140 are generated directly or indirectly. This means that having a pest-free area is truly worth the effort. Technical advice on biosafety legislation for Belize. Belize's case shows the benefit for the international community to have a common forum where it is possible to discuss phytosanitary measures and for countries facing a specific challenge to obtain the necessary technical assistance. Trade facilitation is one of the key roles of IPPC. By reducing the pest risk, we can facilitate the trade. And this really leads to another development for many, many countries. I think that the donor community could uh, focus on that tools to evaluate those countries' strong point and weak point through the evaluation tools we are developing. With this, uh, the projects can be more appropriately uh, focusing on the country's need. One of the key and critical components that has really come along and I think is a very, very useful tool is the phytosanitary capacity evaluation, or PCE. One of the first key messages that it's a tool that allows the data that's collected for the purposes of this evaluation to be kept solely by the country, confidentially, but yet it allows a country to totally survey its entire phytosanitary capacity system and evaluate it for strengths, weaknesses, and then use that information to help it to focus on building and working and solving the problems where the attention's needed the most. They can work with donor countries to focus on the specific areas where they need the most work and improve their overall system as a result without duplicative efforts or other types of activities that might not be as effective. It's a real useful tool and I can't say enough to encourage countries to take advantage of this. Low cost, focused, solves problems. IPPC is somehow old but new. We have already 60 year history, but recent change in the world really affects our another challenges.
kind of support. Plant protection service. There's no other organization in the world that can do what the IPPC does. It's a place where all the plant protection organizations from around the world can get together, talk, sometimes argue, sometimes disagree, but ultimately come up with standards that are useful for safe and fair trade between countries developing and developed around the world. Mm -hmm.